there. Today we're looking at sections 5.1 to 5.3 in your textbook, and these sections are all on solving inequalities. So I thought it would be helpful if we just lumped them all together because they do cover the same subject, but obviously 5.1 is simpler than 5.2, which is simpler than 5.3. So we'll look at all of them, but we'll start with just a basic inequality, like 3x plus 8 is greater than 11. Now, if I wrote 3x plus 8 is equal to 11, that would be an equality. But what I want to do here is look at inequalities An inequality, <clears throat> the prefix in often means not. <clears throat> so what we have here is not an equality, that means it's an inequality, and there are four different basic symbols that you should know. This is greater than, this is less than, this is greater than or equal to, and this is less than or equal to. This one is pretty simple to solve. Just like an equation, we subtract the 8 and we get 3x is greater than 3, divide by 3, and we get x is greater than 1. All right, if we wanted to graph that on the number line, I would, first of all, indicate with arrows the number line continues uh, infinitely in both directions. I would put a 0 on the number line, and then I would put a 1. And I would say, if x is greater than 1, then it goes in this direction, because those are bigger numbers. And I put an open circle here, because this is greater than 1, but cannot be equal to 1. If I change this, and made it x is greater than or equal to 1, then I would fill in the circle, indicating that 1 is a possible solution. All right, we'll look at some more graphs here in a moment, but let's try a couple of them that are a little bit more complicated now. Um, negative 3x is greater than or equal to 27. Now to solve this, we need to divide by negative 3. <clears throat> and the key to inequalities is when you multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number, you change the direction of the inequality sign. So here we are dividing by a negative number, so I get x, I change the direction of the sign to be less than or equal to, instead of greater than or equal to, and I get negative 9. If I want to graph that, I'm going to put 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, here's negative 9, it's less than or equal to. So I fill in the dot and the arrow goes to the left. All right. <clears throat> Let's try another one. <clears throat> in this case, negative one-sixth x is less than or equal to negative... Uh, let's see. Let's make it negative two. <clears throat> All right. To solve this, I have to multiply both sides by negative 6. Okay, now, the negatives cancel, the numerator and denominator cancel, and I'm left with x. Because I'm multiplying by a negative number, I reverse the direction of the sign, and over here I get 2 times 6 is 12. So, if I graph that, let's go over here, I would have greater than or equal to 12 if I put 0 here, and somewhere out here we know is 12. And I'm going to fill in the circle because it's greater than or equal to. And it's going in the greater than direction. All right. <clears throat> the next one we're going to look at is more complicated. It is negative 3 times 7x plus 3 is less than 6x. Now, we have a negative over here. We also have x's on both sides. So let's see what we get. This is negative 21x minus 9 is less than 6x. First thing I'm going to do is add the 9. And I get negative 21x is less than 6x plus 9. 
Now I'll subtract the 6x minus 6x, okay, and I get negative 27x is <clears throat> less than 9. Now, notice, while I'm dealing with negative numbers here, I have not multiplied or divided by a negative yet. <clears throat> That's what I'm about to do. Negative 27 on both sides, I divide, and here I get these cancel. I now have, I'll write it over here, x. Sign reverses because I divided by a negative. x is greater than negative 9 27 which is 1 third. x is greater than negative 1 third. And if you're graphing that, you simply have to estimate on your number line. <clears throat> uh, here would be 0. Negative 1 third, if this is negative 1, negative 1 third is right about here, and just approximately, and it is greater than negative 1 third, so it goes to the right in the greater than direction. <clears throat> there is a trick here that you can use. If you have, just to help you know that you're graphing in the right direction. Here, let's erase this, and I will just write, let's say we have x is greater than 5. All right, now, here's 0, here's 5. We know greater than goes in this direction. Well, notice if the variable is on the left, then this points in the same direction as the arrow on the number line when you graph it. <clears throat> All right, if you had x is less than negative 2, here's 0, 1, 2, here's negative 2, <clears throat> x is less than that, this goes in the negative direction, and notice this arrow and this arrow point the same way. This only works if the variable is on the left, otherwise you'll get confused. But that at least will help you to know if you're pointing in the right direction when you graph. All right, let's try two more. This one is 7 plus x is less than or equal to 2 times x plus 3 plus 2. All right, <clears throat> we have, let's see, 7 plus x is less than or equal to 2x plus 6 plus 2. So these we know can be combined. 7 plus x is less than or equal to 2x plus 8. All right, I'm going to subtract the 7. Actually, I'm not going to do that, and I'll tell you why. If I subtract the x, I won't have to deal with flipping the sign and dividing by a negative, because that leaves me with x plus 8 over here. This is the symbol, and over here these canceled, and I have a 7. Now, subtract the 8, and I get, on the right-hand side, I have x. I did not switch the sign, because I did not multiply or divide by a negative, so the sign still goes this way, and now over here I have a negative 1. This is exactly the same as x is greater than or equal to negative 1, because if I read it in this direction, x is greater than or equal to, because the greater than symbol is opening toward the x, negative 1. Here, x is greater than the greater than symbol is still opening toward the x, negative 1. Okay, you have to be a little careful about that because you don't want to just move the x over here and the negative 1 over here without moving the sign around at the same time. As long as the sign, the symbol here, points in the correct direction, if the, if the mouth of the inequality is opening toward the x, it still must be opening toward the x here because all we're doing is rewriting it in a way that is a little more familiar to us. All right, and the last one we'll do here is 8 times x minus 2 is less than or equal to 10 times x plus 2. So 8x minus 16 is less than or equal to 10x plus 20. And let's subtract the 8x. And actually, let's do it the other way this time, just to show you that you have choices. If I subtract the 10x from both sides, those cancel. 
I get negative 2x minus 16 is less than or equal to 20. And I add 16, and I get negative 2x is less than or equal to 36. Now, I divide by negative 2, cancel those, the sign reverses direction. So I get x is greater than or equal to negative 18. All right? And if I wanted to graph that on a number line, I would put a 0 here somewhere. Way out here, I would have a negative 18, and x is greater than or equal to negative 18, so it's a filled-in circle, and the arrow goes to the right. Those are some of the key features of these three sections, the first three sections of chapter 5. We may come back to this with another video because there are some things here that um, we haven't covered, like uh, a notation for giving the answer. And so um, we may do a few more sample problems, do a couple of word problems, and talk a bit about a way of writing the answer. But uh, this gives you the basic introduction to this section, these three sections. In fact, thank you very much.